I am old enough to remember the Vietnam War. Um, I was a child when my mother would take me to anti-war marches in Boston, where I grew up. Um, and I remember very vividly seeing, for example, the Life magazine photographs of the My Lai Massacre um, and other pictures from Vietnam. And as a child, I, I was sort of terrified by the prospect that the war might still be going on when I was old enough to be drafted, uh, even though I was only eight or so. But um, that war always held a sort of fascination for me because it was the one that I remembered. And I often wondered what I would have done when I was draft age. Would I have allowed myself to be drafted or would I have gone to Canada or, um, you know, or what? When this war came up, a lot of those questions sort of reemerged for me. Um, I had no military experience of my own before going to Iraq, other than um, watching Full Metal Jacket and Platoon. Um, so I really didn't know what to expect. First of all, the soldiers understand that you're not one of them. And no matter how much you may, you know, I've seen journalists dress up in camouflage and really try to go native. Um, I never went that route, but I think it doesn't matter. They understand that you're there because you have a choice of being there. And they don't have a choice. They're there because they have to be there. And if a mission comes up, they have to accept it. They don't have the choice of saying no. So there's this gap, which I think remains kind of unbridgeable, to be honest. And that's fine with me because my feeling is I'm also a professional, but of a different sort. I'm there to get drawings. I'm not there to be a war tourist. I'm there to, to do the missions that I want to do, get the material I want, and then get out. Um, but by and large, my main interest is that the soldiers help me out, I not hinder the soldiers, and that when I publish these stories, along with the photographs, that the soldiers feel fairly represented. I don't want them to feel like I'm there to sing their praises necessarily, but I want them to feel like if there was a screw-up, they know there was a screw-up. And in some way, I tried to show both sides of the, you know, of the event, whatever happened. In my work as a realist painter, I'm interested in dramatic storytelling. And I think a war is about as dramatic a story as you can possibly get. I wanted to be close to the sort of um, the, the powerful truths of life and death and sacrifice, um, and even heroism on a small scale, which could be the actions of an individual American soldier when he has a choice to pull the trigger or not to pull the trigger. Or maybe he makes the wrong decision and pulls the trigger. All of this is kind of part of the drama and the, the sort of the story of war. Um, so that's what I'm after.